Hello, I'm Shelley Duvall. Welcome to Fairy Tale Theater. For centuries, storytellers have spun their tales of magic and enchantment for the young at heart. Some of your favorite actors, writers, and directors have come together to bring these classic tales to your home. Some are funny, some are scary, and some romantic. So sit back, relax, and enjoy tonight's tale about a princess who finds happiness by keeping her promise to a frog, the Frog Prince. Once upon a time, a long, long time ago, in a land far away, there lived in a beautiful castle a good king called Geoffrey, who was married to a charming, if slightly forgetful young queen called Gwyneth. They lacked for only one thing to complete their lives, a child. But try as they might, the older they grew, they still remained childless. They tried everything, but all to no avail, until finally an old aunt told them of an ancient crone by the name of Griselda, who was believed to have magic powers. I don't like witchcraft. Well, we might as well try it. I mean, what have we got to lose? So the next day, they visited the old crone who threw a number of foul-smelling things into an old cauldron and stirred them and spat on them and muttered and chanted and eventually made the good queen drink a little of it, which she was naturally very loath to do. But she wanted a baby very, very much, and so she swallowed it and they thanked her and offered her some money. How much? Uh, I want no money. Just remember this. I am the child's godmother. Remember, you must invite me to the christening. Yes, yes, of course, and uh, thank you so much. Uh, a few months later, the queen gave birth to a charming, healthy baby boy. All the court were overjoyed, and the bells in the kingdom pealed out and preparations were made for a great christening to which all the local kings and queens were invited. Is she out of the bath yet? Are you out of the bath yet? Don't panic, Jeffrey. Don't panic, Jeffrey. What on earth time is it? The time is 11.30 precisely. 11.30? Well, they're going to be here at noon. Jeffrey. Have we any extra tickets to the gallery? What? Are you kidding? Tickets for the gallery for this feast? Uh, the people, they've been lining up for four days just to watch the food delivered. Don't panic, Jeffrey. I'll be right with you. <sighs> Jeffrey, would you look at this? I... Oh, no. Do I have to sit next to that boring old queen? Of course you do. Well, she's such a bore. She only talks about trout. Oh, dear. Another evening of fishy conversation. Wait a minute. Where, where's Griselda? Who? Don't believe this. What? Oh, she's not on the list. Who's not on that list? Griselda! Uh, well, she probably wouldn't have come anyway. She's totally out of place in society. Well, of course she would have come. She's the child's very godmother. She asked specifically. Oh, this is absolutely dreadful. Oh, <laughs> don't panic, Jeffrey. Who made up this list? Well, I did. Well, then you couldn't even remember Griselda. But, but Jeffrey, I've been busy. I, I've had a baby. Well, we'll have to cancel the whole thing. We'll have to postpone it. Oh, now, don't overdraw. Well, you don't time. seem to realize the seriousness of this. Oh, Jeffrey, just because some old witch has been missed off the list, there's no need for you to go berserk. Now all the kings are coming. But you don't understand. We promised her that she could come. A promise is a promise. We simply forgot. Now, it's a human error. But she's not human. That's what I mean. She's just an old, ugly witch. <laughs> You're precisely, oh, this is a catastrophe, a disaster. Jeffrey, it's just a simple oversight. 
All right, then, I'll lock the gates. What? Well, hurry, it's our only chance. Lock the gates, oh, hurry! Jeffrey, all the kings are outside trying to get in. Well, we'll uh, explain to them later. Uh, hurry, lock the gates quickly! Godmother, uh, uh, did you uh, get the uh, invitation? No. Damn. It's a clerical error. Uh, uh, actually, the post has been just awful recently. Uh, you, you really can't trust it. Uh, well, it's uh, so good of you to uh, stop by anyway. Uh, oh, uh, this will be where you'll be sitting for the feast, uh, next to me. good queen Beatrice had a baby daughter. The child grew and was given everything her heart desired so that she became rather a spoilt child and though she was very very beautiful she was also alas very very vain. The king hoped to marry her off to some nice prince or other but she was so vain and so spoilt she rather despised mere princes. She was looking for a king. I want to be queen. Why should I marry a prince? I'm already a princess. Tell him I won't come to his ball. Yes, my lady. <coughs> yes? What is it? Uh, 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 what is it, you miserable turkey? Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, princess. Oh, excuse me, princess. But uh, your mother was wondering if Her you... Majesty, the Queen, your mother. Oh, yes. Your Majesty, her Queen, the mother. Your, your Queen, the Majesty, her mother. Oh, what is it? Um, they, were, they were wondering if you had remembered about the tea party in the Rose Garden. Oh, that. Uh, the thing is, they've been waiting an hour with their guests for you to turn up. Oh, fiddlesticks. Candy, you are useless, aren't you? Can't you hold that mirror straight? However am I going to see myself properly if you don't hold it at the proper angle? Yes, my lady. <laughs> they haven't brought that miserable creep Prince Hal with them, have they? Miserable Prince Creep? Oh, no, my lady. Thank God for that. He's such a macho meat face. He's always out skewering dragons or something, <laughs> massacring them. Whatever makes him think that I would want to marry a man whose only pleasure is murdering large, scaly, fire-breathing animals, huh? He's quite handsome, my lady. He has the brains of a shrimp. He's got a good body. Will you be quiet? Tell them no, no. I will not go to tea with the wretched kings and queens from neighboring states. Yes, my lady. Pity. What did you say? Yeah. Uh, uh, well, speak up, you miserable worm. I, I, I said pity. How dare you. I shall have you thrown in the stocks for that. I meant pity about the gift. What gift? They brought you a gift. <laughs> Did they really? Yes, baby. <sighs> well, tell them I'll be right down, just as soon as I'm finished looking at myself in the mirror. Yes. Yes, princess. Yes, princess. Yes, man, you ma Yes, princess. Leave, just yes. get out. Yes, okay. Close the door, you creep.
Play another piece. That's all they know, sir. Tell them to play it again, then. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Can't be long now. She'll be right down. She's very busy with her um... charity work. Yes, charity work. Spends a lot of time with her charity work. She needs a good husband. <laughs> yes. Where is Prince Hal at the moment exactly? Yes, we were rather hoping he would. Um... Be here for them to, um, meet. Yes, so were we. He was called away at the last moment. They got wind of a dragon in the Lake District. Oh, I Does a lot of dragon slaying, does he? Oh, quite a bit, yes, quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Well, when I was his age, we met up and went searching for princesses. <laughs> he doesn't take much after princesses. He... Just likes to meet the boys and go off after dragons. It's probably just a stay. Yes. If only our first son had grown up to be a... a man. Where is your first son these days? Ah! Uh, well, we, uh, we don't uh, talk about him. It's a long story, rather painful. Oh. The princess! Ah, here she is. Uh, Your Majesties, may I present my daughter? Enchanted. Oh, she's very beautiful. And very late. Ah, yeah, uh, well, let's have tea, shall we? Prince Hal sends you his regards. Really? How is Hal, anyway? Still out skewering dragons? <laughs> <laughs> Daughter. Well, I read in a book recently that dragons are in danger of becoming extinct through all of this horrid hunting, you know. <laughs> Daughter. You see, I think they should be preserved. They seem like rather nice creatures compared to adolescent princes with homicidal tendencies. <laughs> <laughs> Where does she get these ideas? <laughs> oh, uh, th that reminds me, uh, we brought a present for you. Really? Yes, from Hal. Uh, he is sorry that he couldn't be here, but he sent this instead. A box. Oh, how lovely. Isn't it a beautiful box, Ulrich? Oh, how very thoughtful. Thank you so much. Yes, not just the box. What? I uh, believe there's something inside it, uh, my dear. Oh, as well. Oh, how nice and useful. Oh, a box. And something inside it. Oh, how lovely. Oh, yes, it was a gift from Hal's fairy godmother when she came to his christening. Is it magical? Well, we're not sure. Some cake. Goodbye. Safe journey. Thanks for the ball. Such a charming couple. A very generous <laughs> gift. Pity they didn't bring Hal for her. Hmm. I'd rather have this ball any day than a crummy old dragon mugger. Oh, <laughs> you know, sometimes I think we've spoiled that girl. You're going to have to speak to her, Ulrich. She'll have to have a husband soon. Yeah, he'll have to be made of gold to suit her. I had high hopes for Hal. I a perfect match. She's away all day hunting dragons. She spends all day in front of the mirror. <laughs> the local princes are terrified of her. Whatever did happen to that first son of theirs? Oh, there was some unpleasantness. Something to do with the christening. It was all hushed up. Hmm. Pity would have been the perfect age. Hmm. Beauty like the rose must very soon decay. 
Like the stream of life itself, it passes swiftly away. Shut up, that's a stupid song. It's depressing. You do it to annoy me. It's philosophical. Well, I don't want to hear your wretched philosophy. I was singing about the roses. You were not singing about the roses. You were singing about beauty passing away. I'm not as stupid as I look. And you will never be beautiful. So there. Well, you'll never play the lute. So there. How dare you? How dare you talk to me that way? Why, I could have you fired just like that. I'm employed by the king. So what? I had daddy replace the jester just last night. Why? He annoyed me, that's why. Well, whatever will we watch in the evenings? We're getting a new one. The old one didn't work very well anyway. Well, where's he gone? Daddy sold it to the Brillsteins. Serve him right. And we can get a new musician too, just like that. Where from? Well, the Bobsy twins are for sale, you know. Oh, stereo. That'll never catch on. Princess, may I go to town? No, you may not. You are ladies in waiting. That's what you do. You wait. A princess had a golden ball, which she loved more than life. Until one day there came a prince who turned her into a wife. With a hey, nonny, nonny, no. I will not marry a wretched prince. I won't, I won't, I won't ever. Did you have to do that? Now she'll be in a bad mood for weeks. <laughs> The afternoon was sweltering hot. All living things crept into the shade. The princess headed for her favorite secret place, down in the garden. Pardon me. <gasps> now, could you not make so much noise? You're scaring away all the flies. Who said that? Ah, uh, I did. Where are you? Uh, I'm over here. I don't see you. Uh, I'm on top of the well, dear. <gasps> oh, a horrid toad. Ooh, a nasty princess. A and I am not a toad. I am a frog and fiercely proud of it. Oh, same difference. <laughs> You're both horrid reptiles. Oh, I am not a reptile. I am an amphibian. <laughs> I am bi-elemental. I can jump both ways, either air or water. Whereas you are merely mono-elemental and a noisy one at that. How dare you talk to me that way? Don't you know that I'm a princess? I can tell. Really? How? You're very rude. Go away. Oh, oh I was here first. I said go away! Oh, nee, 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 nee. I was here first. Nee, 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 nee. Well, stop looking at me. Oh, 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 a cat may look at a king, so a frog may certainly look at a princess. Frogs shouldn't mix with society. Oh, oh, one person can hardly be called a society. Can be. Oh, cannot. A society is more than one person. It is a collective noun. Several people. Look, there's no need to show off. Oh, well, hoity-toity now. <laughs> Me showing off? Yes. You come here disturbing the peace of the afternoon, scaring away my lunch, and massacring the language and accuse me of showing off. Mm-hmm. la di da di da di da da Well, you shouldn't be here. Oh, why ever not? Because frogs should not mix with royal princesses, that's oh, why. Well, really? You see, there I beg to take issue with you, because there have been many, many famous frogs in history. Oh, really? Name twelve. I'll give you thousands. The frogs of Egypt. They were a plague. Oh, no, 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 no. That depends on whose side you were on. To the Egyptians, they were a plague, but to Moses, they were a wonder. Look, you don't go away and leave me alone right now. I'm going to have you thrown into... Oh, oh no! What you've made me do! Oh, I'll never get it back! No, it's far too deep! And it's all your fault, you horrid, beastly, filthy little frog! Doy! Hmm. <laughs> ah, hey, doesn't that charming? Uh, I mean, you come here, you abuse me, and you threaten to throw me into something or other, and now you say that I knock your ball into the well. Well, long time since we'll talk, sister. <laughs> Hell, serves you right, serves you right. Nee, 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 nee. <laughs> don't, don't cry. Oh. I, I'm sorry about that. I mean, I get carried away with my own flippers sometimes. Uh, I, I can get it for you. Oh, you could not. Yes, I could. No, you can't. It's too deep. No, not for me. It's all just diddly to me. Not for a frog. Froggy, could you? Well, I, sure I could. <laughs> well, would you? Oh, yes, I would if... if I was in the mood. Oh, oh, Frog. 
Froggy. Oh, dear Froggy. Uh, if you get my, my ball back, I'll give you anything in the world that you want. Anything? Oh, yes, absolutely anything. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, what are we talking here? Oh, well, uh, my diamond ring. Well, what am I going to do with a diamond ring? I mean, I can put it on up to the shoulder. I suppose you could uh, wear it around your neck. My neck? Yes. My neck. <laughs> I might as well build a big sign up for every snake in the county saying, Snake food, come and get it. Well, then, how, how about a lovely dress? Would you like that? A dress? <laughs> we frogs have no use for fabric. Oh, well, well, then I, I, I shall give you my, my golden crown. It's very oh. nice. Can you eat it? Uh, no. Can, can you swim in it? Of course not. Oh, then what good is it to me? I mean, you princesses are all the same. You are so materialistic. Well, whatever do you want? Well? <laughs> I know, you're scared. No, 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 I'm thinking. Yes, it's too deep for you. No, too deep? No, it's doodah for a frog. <laughs> you're a little chicken, aren't you? No. <laughs> I am a frog and fiercely proud of it. Well, then, whatever in the world do you want? I've offered you anything in the world that you could possibly want. All right. All right. I like you. A little argumentative, but I like that. I tell you what. Um, if I get your ball... Mm -hmm. Will you be my friend? Your friend? I mean, your friend. Uh, uh, after that, uh, would, would you invite me to, uh, to dinner at the palace? Have dinner with you? Ah. Yes. And um, afterwards, well, well I'd, I'd like to sleep with you. Sleep with you? Yeah. Dear, I've been turning down crowned heads. You think I'm going to shack up with a frog? Oh, no, 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 oh, no, no. I mean, not... Oh, not sleep. Oh, no. You misunderstood me. No. I, I, I mean sleep near you, you know. I'm mean, on your pillow. Do you have a... Do you have a silken pillow? Of course I do. Oh. 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 I've always dreamed of sleeping on a silken pillow. I won't do it. I won't share my bed with a clammy amphibian. Oh, doesn't that just beat all? No way. All right. Suit yourself. Good night. Just a minute. Suppose I agree to his ridiculous terms and then just leave him. <laughs> What's he going to do? Storm the castle? Oh, Froggy. Oh, yes? You've got yourself a deal. Oh, Huzzah! Oh, you're not going to regret this. <clears throat> I got a friend, a brand new friend. Couldn't we just skip the song? No, oh, the song goes with it. Someone on whom I can depend With a princess for a pal Everyone will call me Al. Why Al? To rhyme, go with it. She'll feed me food and serve me drink. And when she has washed me in her sink, upon her bed in froggy bliss, upon my lips she'll lay a kiss. And I won't snore or make a mess beside my wonderful princess. Nice song. <laughs> Thank you. Sort of impromptu. Very clever. <laughs> well, <clears throat> you're going to keep your promise? Oh, yes. <laughs> a a including the kiss? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> well, then, we who are about to dive salute you. The job took the frog much, much longer than he thought. Nearly an hour. And it was really quite a struggle for the little fellow. But he bravely huffed and puffed and pushed and pulled and shoved and eventually he began to make a little progress. Don't drop it. I mean, uh, uh, be careful of yourself. I've got it. Have you? I hope so. Oh, oh, God. Oh, damn. Oh. Suck 
Okay. Step back. Step back. Just give me a little air. I'll be all right. <laughs> Princess, don't you worry about that kiss. Princess? Princess? All the other hogs in free. Well, Gordon Bennett, she done me up. Oh, well, I never. Oh, whoa. Her being royalty, you know it's so... What is it, Hendrix? Uh, there's a uh, <coughs> frog outside, sir. A what? A frog. A frog? Uh, yes, sir. To see me? Uh, he says he's here to see your daughter, sir. Oh. Yeah, are you expecting a frog? Well, what sort of frog? What? Uh, he says he was invited for dinner, sir. Uh, did you invite a frog to dinner, darling? <gasps> oh, a frog! Oh, is that... Oh, oh, a frog! Was that tonight? Oh, boy. Oh. Yes, I did. Uh, how very singular. Mm. Apparently, he is expected, Hendrix. <laughs> very good, sir. Mm -hmm. Is there something we should know, darling? Oh, well, uh... Yes, uh, do tell us what's going on. I'm sure we should all like to know. The princess reveals the story of the frog. Well, it was like this. I was out playing today down at the, the park, you know, down by Lion's Gate Well, and, and all of a sudden there was this fat little frog. Oh, will you look at that? Look at that staircase. Early perpendicular. Oh, maybe it's neo-gothic, but who knew neo then? Oh, darling, who designed this place? Oh, look at... Oh, Mo, this is the history of good taste. I always said if you can't use one color, put them all on the wall. <laughs> look at that hand-painted fresco. Oh, you can almost... Oh, look at those little cherubims. Hi, 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 hi. Yo, you got me. I always said if you can't live in a well, well, a palace wouldn't be too shabby. Huh? What have we here? What? What? How perfect luck with the grenouille. Frog's legs. And, uh, where are you going, my little froggy? Oh, I, I'm going to have uh, dinner with the king. Ah, so you are. But first, I would like you to make a small detour via my kitchen. Huh? Uh, pourquoi? Oh, it is uh, very nice in there. You will like it quite a lot. <laughs> With some uh, garlic, uh, remolo sauce. <laughs> oh, you look <laughs> delicious. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't be pulling my leg now, would you? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> so, come with me, eh? Uh, I have a recipe that is perfect for you. <laughs> oh, special treatment pour moi? Oh, oui, for you, cordon bleu. Oh, oh. Le advance! <laughs> and then he started making all of these weird demands. Like he wanted to dine with me. Oh. And then he wanted to sleep on my pillow. Oh. What were his weird demands? Well, that's it. That's all? 
Well, I mean, he, he wanted to kiss me as well. Oh. <laughs> that's it? Well, I don't think that's a lot to ask. If he turned down your crown and your diamonds, it seems rather reasonable. And it's a very deep well. <laughs> I must have taken him ages. But, Daddy, he's a frog. All the more reason, a harmless little creature. But, Daddy, he's ugly. Uh, 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 my dear girl, you mustn't associate beauty with virtue. That's a common error. <laughs> on the whole, the beautiful are the most vain, selfish, thoroughly unpleasant people on the planet. No, no, no. When it comes to trust, give me an ugly little brute any time. Thank you, sir. Well, I won't have it. What? I won't. I won't share my table with a tadpole. I won't share my bed with a bullfrog. I won't do it, not for anything or anybody. The princess and I will have a little chat by the fire. All right. Please excuse us. <laughs> there. Now, where is that recipe? French fries, fried fruit, fricassee of fig. <laughs> frog's legs. Oh, pardon me? Uh, I said uh, frog's legs. Uh, nice legs you've got there, froggy. <laughs> oh, 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 merci. <laughs> they, 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 they just kind of grew on me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they look very delicious. <laughs> oh, really? <clears throat> hmm. I, is this the normal place you, you wait for dinner with the king? Uh, for food, we. Oui. Oh, good. Parce que j'ai très faim. Hungry? Oh, alors oui. You won't be in a minute. Oh, good. Because I'm looking forward to tonight's menu. I really am. You should. You're on it. What? Here. Yeah, just rub this on you, froggy. Ooh. What's this? Scalic. Oh. oh. Well, are there Italians nearby? Oh, yes. Very hungry ones with very large teeth. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess they'll know I'm coming then. Ayonde, naviende, che faccia, malinde drive, malonda vincia, la rum. Now look, sweetheart, I'll make it simple. There's a whole court out there dependent on our word. Everybody knows his place from the very top, that's me, down to the bottom, that's Jeff the loony who looks after the donkeys. It's a structure, an order, see? We all know where we are, what we're supposed to do, and nobody gets in anybody else's way. But whatever does that have to do with me? Do you? think that we can get along for five minutes without the people below us. Well, why ever not? <clears throat> Have you ever made a bed? No. Do you know how to bake bread? Of course not. How to cook? <laughs> the very idea. <laughs> how to draw water, feed cattle, <laughs> sow corn, harvest and guard all night? Well, of course not. Well, these people do. And they do it all for everybody else in the structure. And it's all based on trust. Now, if these people see that you, a king's daughter, can't keep her word to a little frog who helped her out, how long do you think it will be before they realize that not only are you not to be trusted, you're not needed? And once they've figured that out, how long do you think your pretty neck will remain on your lovely shoulders? But I'm a princess, and I won't take orders. You yes. are a human being and a king's daughter, and you will keep your word. A promise is a promise. The princess will see the frog. A little salt? A little pepper. Sorry, Froggy. Et maintenant, la guillotine. Pardon me. 
Yeah. I, I, I think there's been some mistake here. <laughs> I, I, I was invited for dinner. And so you will be. No, 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 no. No, I'm a guest. Oh, don't be silly. You are the entree. Hmm? Eh? Le quiz to grand oui, frog's legs. <laughs> mm. Freshly killed local frog served in a dice deal, <clears throat> garlic butter sauce, on serve de Provence, mm. speciality du chef. C'est toi, là c'est moi. I think there has definitely been some mistake. Well, so maintenant, au revoir. No! <laughs> <laughs> you know you're wasting my time. I do not have time to play with the food. If you want it's a difficult way. Uh, wait! What? Wait! Me? We? Oui. Wait? We? Oui. Why? Why? What are you doing? I'm trying to prepare this wretched meal, but he keeps running away from me. Uh, uh, uh. He has to come with me. Why? Why? We? Oui. Oui. The king wants him now. No. We? Oui. Now? We? Oui. Why? He has not even cooked yet. He does a wedding cooked. He's going to eat him raw? Sashimi frog? He's not going to eat him at all. This frog's a guest. A guest? We! Oui. Oui. These people who are not French are so weird. <clears throat> Your Majesty, the frog. Oh, wow. Welcome, frog. Oh, greetings, Your Majesty. From all the frogs in the forest and assorted toads elsewhere, in their own words, sir, read it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You already know the princess. Oh, oh yes, sir. Oh, you smell of garlic. Oh, well, the chef made me shower in it. He said there were Italians nearby, but they kefaccia. Well, uh, uh, thank you for uh, retrieving my daughter's ball. That must have been a very difficult task. Oh. That old well is very deep, eh? I would hop ten miles in the snow just to stand in her garbage, if you catch my drift, sir. <laughs> but, oh, oh, who is this vision next to you, Your Majesty? Well, oh. Uh, well, uh, this is my wife, the queen. Your wife? Oh, you cradle robber, you. <laughs> oh, must be cream, because milk doesn't sit like that. Oh, but wait. Oh, I see now, I see. It all fits together to have such a beautiful daughter. There must be a beautiful mother. So flows the stream, so flows the river, if you catch my drift once again, your majesty. <laughs> but I am just so happy to be here. Matter of fact, I'm happy to be anywhere. <laughs> you know, I, I just jumped in from the well and boy, are my thighs tired. <laughs> I, I, oh, <clears throat> pardon me, but I seem to have a human caught in my throat. <laughs> I, I, I hate to emote like this, but speaking of emote, there's a drawbridge out there, but drawbridge, I can't even hold a brush. <laughs> they say every frog has its day. And that night was certainly the Don't frog's day. About that, though. I was on the way here and I met a female frog. She said, Spawn, we haven't even had dinner yet. <laughs> and I said, Redeen. She said, Would that? <laughs> he was quite simply absolutely magnificent.
contempt made spawning summer by this mere tad of a pole. Mm. But yet, I will not croak. Well, I think I'll go to bed now. <laughs> uh, mm, mm, oh, yes, I, I suppose it is time. Mm, thank you, Frog. It's been a splendid evening. Mm, we'll talk some more tomorrow. Oh, bless you, Your Majesty. Yeah. Oh, uh, Princess, yes. uh, don't forget your guest. My what? Mm, better take him up and show him your room now. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and please, uh, dear daughter, do be sure to treat him as kindly as you would your own neck. Yes, right. Bring that thing. However much she disliked it, the princess dared not disobey her father, though she was far from happy at entertaining such a house guest. And whether the froggy would like it or not, it simply have to blow. Turn around, you horny toad. Sorry, I've just never seen a set of stems like that before. Oh, thigh, thigh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. You may leave, ladies. <laughs> so, Mr. Froggy, uh, how much do you want? Oh, I want nothing, Princess. No, really. I've had just about enough of this silly farce. Listen, sweetheart, I got your ball for you. Look, forget about my ball. I don't care. Just get out of here. Oh, really? Well, I heard what your father said. Oh, bother my father. Don't you see? I'd be the laughing stock of the entire country. The princess who slept with a frog. Oh, really? I mean, what chance will I have of being taken seriously after that? Oh, you should have thought about that before you made your promise, dear. Bother my promise? Oh, I wish I'd never laid eyes on you. Oh, be careful what you wish. There might be some stray fairy flitting about, and who knows what you might end up. <laughs> really? I don't believe in magic. A skeptic, I see. But tell you what. You just give me the kiss, and I'll go. Huh? I mean, I mean, a frog's word is to be trusted. You know that, don't you? No way. You must be joking. That's the last thing in the world I'm going to give you. You know something? I've had just about enough of you. Creeping around this palace, flattering my mother. Why, you should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, come on now. Makes her happy. She hasn't had a chance to loosen her braids in years. Really? You really, really must fancy yourself. Oh, the night was but a fetus. I just enjoyed. I did, I did. You know, I've got a jolly good mind to throw you right out this window. As a matter of fact, I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Squashed frog. Let's see if you can fly, huh? Oh, well, you're not going to get away with this. You know that, don't you? Oh, really? Why not? Well, oh, well there's a moat. So what? Well, I'm a frog. I'll just simply swim out, call the guards, and have you arrested for attempted toadicide. So, once again, nay, 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 nay. <laughs> oh, damn. Come on. Just kiss me and I will go. I mean, what's one little kiss? It's, it's history. Come on. It's the oldest one in the book. I've heard that one before, you know. All right. I guess I'll just have to tell Daddy then. <laughs> no. Oh, all right. All right. I'll let you sleep on the pillow, but that's all. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Huzzah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, 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 so this is silk. Oh, it's as smooth as a little froggy's touch. Oh, frog skin's all slimy. You're very prejudiced, you know that, don't you? Oh, just go to sleep. Oh, but still, you're very beautiful in your own bitchy way. I really would like to thank you. Oh, don't thank me. No, 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 I must. I mean, I mean, oh, this has been the highlight of my froggy life. I mean, dinner tonight and now a silken pillow. Oh, I'm, it's like a dream come true. It really is. Oh, to me, it's been an absolute nightmare. Oh, I'm sorry I realized that. Well, I've always been afraid of slimy things. Oh, what do you think it's like for us frogs? I mean, with you giant human stomping around. I mean, one misplaced foot and... I'm history. Have very pleasant sleep. And, or oh, as we frogs say... 
and sweet redeem. Oh. The time is 2 a.m. in the morning, precisely. <laughs> It was a magnificent performance, on the whole, though the princess was thoroughly oh. grateful. Olé! Oh, oh, Froggy, dear Froggy, you good, kind, wonderful creature. Oh, dear, I've been so bad to you. Please forgive me. Shall I, shall I give you a kiss? Needed that. Oh my god, you're you're a man. Well, actually I'm more than a man, I'm a prince. I'm oh. Hal's elder brother. Good grief. Well, thanks a lot. Ta, I better be going no, now. Don't don't move. Why? Well, you're you're naked. Uh, so I am. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, it's all right. <laughs> well, I guess I didn't think of that. Who's they? Oh uh, the people who work the spells. You mean this was a spell? Oh, yes. I, I have this eccentric fairy godmother, and, well, Mum and Pops forgot to invite her to the christening, and wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, she turned me into a frog. How awful. Well, yes. And I can only be turned back into a prince by a kiss from a true princess. And that must be you. You are heaven sent. Thank you. Well, how amazing. Yes. Oh, isn't that something? Mm. <laughs> well... <laughs> oh, we have to get you out of here. If they find you in here, they'll kill you. Well, can't we just tell them the truth? Well, who would believe it? Yes, yes, I guess you're right. Mm hmm. Mm. You know, I've been thinking. Yes? You know? I'm a little worried right now. Maybe, maybe you could, uh, just kiss me again to make sure that I don't turn back into a frog. Oh, you mean just for scientific purposes? Yes. I mean... Just to make sure that the, the spell is broken. Oh, absolutely. Because, you see, I am a true princess and I can turn you back. I know that, but... And if you don't turn back, then we'll know that you're all right. Oh, yes, yes. Well, all right. All right. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Any change? Oh, not yet. Maybe we should give it a bit longer. Mm. Mm. <gasps> Who is that? Who is it? It's a father. Open up. <laughs> What was all that noise? What noise? Where's the frog? What frog? Oh, the frog! He left. How? Out the window. Whoa! Over here! Whoa. Whoa. Did, did you throw him out? Why, no! You cruel, heartless little princess! Oh, that's not true! I'm going to teach you a lesson you won't forget. Guards, turn your backs. <laughs> I'm going to thrash some respect into you, you vain, selfish, spoiled, frog-murdering little princess! No! <gasps> uh, uh, who said that? I did. Well, you're not going to believe... Oh, no, 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 it's about, not as bad as it looks. You're never going to believe this, Father. Who is that? He is the frog. 
Yeah, pull the other one. How long has this been going on? But you don't understand. What's your name? Uh, uh, prince Robin. Uh, yeah, Prince Robin. Indeed. There is no such prince. Do you know what the penalty is for being caught in a princess's bed? Oh, no, 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 please. I, I, I know this doesn't look very good. Oh, no, no, no. I, 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 didn't, I didn't do anything. Guards, throw him into the deepest dungeon you can find. No, no, please, no, no, please. No, 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 you can't. Well, I, I'm naked. <gasps> <gasps> you? <gasps> no, no. Uh, remove him. Oh, no, no, oh, no, please. What, oh. No. Oh. Goodbye, Froggy. Oh. 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 So the prince was thrown into the deepest dungeon, far from the light of day, and fed only bread and water. And the princess was sent off to a very strict boarding school where she was forced to learn Latin and play hockey. And the king fell into a great decline, and the kingdom withered, and the queen became ill, and all might have ended disastrously were it not for the prince's fairy godmother, who, realizing at last the folly of the misery she'd caused, appeared to the king in the golden ball. And she told him the entire story of the frog prince, just as I've told it to you. And the king cried for joy and apologized to the prince and sent for the princess from the very strict boarding school and all was forgiven and forgotten, although he did insist that on moral grounds they should marry at once. ever after, and the prince's fairy godmother promised that that would be the very last of her frog tricks. <laughs>